today I'm going to install my Easy Pass transponder right inside of my vent here, the top vent for my Road Glide Limited. So it's going in right underneath the windshield, right under that vent right there. Um, I've already done the video actually, and I had mounted my 360 camera here, and it stopped filming while I was doing it. It's almost 100 degrees out here, so I'm not going to do the process over. But I do have the video uh, that I took. I'm just blocking your view some, so I want to show you where it's going. It's actually mounted under here, right there. There's enough space right there that I was able to mount it just fine. Um, and so let's get into the video. I recently got the North Carolina Easy Pass Quick Pass transponder, so when I do my 48 and 10 ride, I'll be able to use this for the toll roads up north particularly. Um, the first one they saw sent me, that one obviously would not work. It was just too big. So I went to the office and this is what they got me. Um, they don't guarantee it to be waterproof. It would typically mount on the inside of the windshield here or down there, but I've talked to a couple of friends now that use these up north and they put them inside of their fairing and they work fine. So that's what I'm gonna to do today. I'm gonna to install this inside the fairing. So let's get to it. Okay guys, first thing I need to do is take my windshield off. So we're gonna do that really quick. Let me put my little shark up here. I have a towel here. I'm gonna lay across the handlebars. That way I'll have a place to lay my turn signals. Uh, these windshield trim here from Custom Dynamics, when I take it off, I need to be able to lay it over here uh, so it doesn't scratch anything up. So this is a really simple process. I just make sure I have room to put this thing inside once I get in there. So let's take these off. Actually, I need to get up with Custom Dynamics because this side over here actually has some condensation inside of it. And a couple of the LEDs have stopped working and they have a lifetime guarantee. So um, I'm going to get up with Custom Dynamics. I may actually go to their shop one day and have them help me um, not just change this out, but maybe put on the uh, lights to go on the saddlebag latches and the lights that go down on the forks here. So we'll see. Put the windshield out of the way. Okay, I'm back. Now I just need to take these off and this windshield trim here, which is from CO3D. I used to have the CO3D lights on the windshield trim, um, but after a while, I decided I didn't like those a whole lot. They want the brightest custom dynamics, and uh, the light itself had gotten cracked. And I just didn't feel like going through the process of getting it all changed by them. So I went with the Custom Dynamics. So there's that. All righty. Set those in there. One down. Really simple to take this stuff on and off. I love these Custom Dynamics windshield trim lights. I also have the vent trim uh, lights in here that are turn signal. These windshield trim lights are sequential and I really like that. So we'll get these off. All right. So once you remove all of that, this vent should just pop up and out. Voila. Up and out of the way. Now, the trick for me is to find a place that this is going to fit and not interfere with anything. Uh, one of my friends had put it over on this side and said that was a good area. And he just wedged his in there. I want to attach mine somehow. So I want to see how much clearance I have down in here. So let me look at it. won't fit there. <laughs> it 
should be easy to find a spot, shouldn't it? I wonder if I zip tie it. I can probably put it right there with a zip tie. All right. So let's see if I can do that with a zip tie. Well, he said I needed to make sure it was aimed a certain way. He just wedged his in there, right there like that. I just don't like not having it attached to something. Um, I want to see if this wedge is in here. If it does, I may do what he did. He just put a piece of foam in there and pinched it in place. And I'll go inside and see if my wife has the foam. So he did it in this fashion. And it looks like it will not fit there. Maybe he pinched it over here on this side. Okay, we're going to try this. I believe, I believe I can set it right in there. So I'm going to clean that with some alcohol and see if I can get it attached. It's not got anywhere to go once it gets down in there. Whoa, that's dirty. All right, so if this was on my windshield, it would be like that. And so I need to have it just like this on here. Let's verify that it's going to fit where I want it to go. All right. It's attached. Let's see if I can get everything back together now. I'm not pinching any wires. I believe this is going to work, guys. I really do. All right. Now just button everything back up and it'll be done. It's only about 90 degrees out here today. <laughs> I probably could have chosen a not as hot a day to do it, but. Oh well, get this put back together. Put the windshield back on, and uh, we'll be good to go. Order laws here. That's cool. Bringing us some clothes to take to Disney. Hey, Miss Brittany. Hello. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? You ready to go to Disney? Absolutely. You got Peyton's clothes? Yes. That's all that is. Okay. All that is. Awesomeness. Get her windshield back on here and tighten everything down lightly first. If, if you do this, go do like I did. I over tightened these things when I first did it. It actually messed up the paint a little bit on these turn signals. And they, they tell you not to over tighten them, and I did. So don't do that. <laughs> but that's installed, and I think it's out of the way very nicely so i'm happy very happy with the results of where it went and it's in there with the provided um 3m velcro tape they had to put on the dash so it should hold it right in place i won't know for sure if it's working i guess until i actually get somewhere that needs it um, I don't do the toll roads here in North Carolina too much except when I go visit my mother. And I may go do that tomorrow. Saw my daughter-in-law, Brittany, just came in. We're headed to Orlando on Sunday because my granddaughter is dancing at Disney. And we're going down there to spend the week with them. They're going to the parks. I think we're just going to hang out at the condo. They rented an Airbnb condo. I think we're going to hang out at that and uh, enjoy the pool, maybe do some shopping um, at the downtown Disney area, window shopping more than anything else. We may ride down to Tampa Bay one day and just check everything out. So either way, this is all back together. So simple, simple. What do you do with your little transponder? Mine is mounted 
right inside here, just like it would be if it were on the windshield itself. So it should work just fine. We shall see. Anyhow, guys, thank you for watching. If you got a benefit out of this, let me know in the comments. Um, I just wanted to show you what I did since I'd already discussed that Drake Big transponder they sent me that should mount like on a bumper. The reason they didn't send me this one, they say it's not guaranteed to be waterproof. Well, it's in and out of the weather. Even if it was on the dash here, I probably wouldn't have it on the weather all the time, but then you got to worry about it getting stolen, taking it on and off. This way it's secure. It's out of the way. It's a radio transponder, so it should work fine. My friends that live in Ohio and they live in um, Pennsylvania and live in the Chicago area all use this on their bike mounted inside of their fairing. So this should work just fine. So guys, have a great day. As always, God bless you, and I'll catch you on the next ride.